Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of BitLife. You guys enjoyed the first episode so much, and I'm really happy about that because this game is hilarious. I thought that I would try starting a new life, but every situation that comes up in this game, I'm going to choose the worst option, like the most evil option, and we're going to see how long we last in this new life. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Okay, so my name is Omarion Evangelista. I'm Filipino, I think. That's pretty cool because I'm Filipino in real life. I was born a male in Manila, Philippines. I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. Okay, I was conceived on my parents' honeymoon. That's cool. That's standard. Nothing weird there. My birthday is September 23. I am a Libra. I really don't care about that. My father is Mark. My mother is Nicole. I have an older sister named Honorata. Who? What is Honorata? That sounds like a rat. She probably looks like a rat too. And my looks are so bad. So I'm dog shit. I look so ugly. I'm oogly googly. Okay, let's age one year. My father has retired from the Marines. My mother has been promoted to assistant curator. Dublin has been selected. Okay, who cares about that? So let's check out our relationships. I'm one years old. Let me talk to my sister, Honorata. Okay, I can't do anything because I'm a kid, of course. You and your big sister, Honorata, are bickering about which one of you the cat loves more. What will you do? Okay, so the most evil thing that we can do is lay hands on our sister. She is older than us, and we have, like, three-year-old hands. Those are, like, charm and soft hands. If we do anything to her, it won't do much damage because, you know, we're just kids. We have no muscle on our little bones. So the most evil option is assault her, so that's what we're gonna do. More where that came from. You assaulted her. You socked her eyebrow. Yeah. Take that eyebrow. Your father passed away at the age of 67. He died of natural causes. Attend his funeral or skip the funeral. <laughs> Yo, I'm like six years old. How am I gonna skip the funeral? I guess I'm old enough to make my own decisions, so we are gonna skip the funeral. And nothing happened. I couldn't be bothered to attend his funeral. Yeah, forget my old ass dad. What you doing, Dyna67? That's your own fault. The girl next door has invited you to go to the movies with her. What will you do? The film is Stairway to the Stars. Yeah, I'll go with her. That sounds boring. Well, the most evil thing that we can do is that sounds boring, so we are not gonna go with that person. So if I keep choosing the most evil option, Option, then I'm never gonna find love. I'm gonna be single. I'm gonna be working with Angela for the rest of my life. Okay, so I didn't really do anything in school, but I graduated from high school. And I gotta pick a major. Apply to university. College is not for me. Oh god. I'm super smart though, guys. Look at that. A hundred percent smart. Wow. So maybe I should make like a little tweak to this challenge. Nah, I can't, guys. I gotta stick with the plan. We gotta choose the most evil or worst option. College is not for me, even though I'm super smart. It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? No, maybe someday. Your mother expresses concern that you don't have a job. She says you must be lazy and unlike your successful sister who got a job. What will you do? Browse available jobs, look at military careers, or argue with her. I feel like the option that I'm going to choose for most of these things is going to be arguing with somebody. So we're going to argue with somebody. You verbally abused your mother for hassling you. Oh, man. I hope this guy just dies already. There's an hour and a half long wait at your favorite local restaurant, Andrea's Diner. But as you walk up, the host asks if you were the last name they called. What will you say? That's me. The wait's too long. I'm leaving. Nah, but I'd like to add my name. So the nicest option would be for me to say, nah, but I'd like to add my name. The evil in me would say, that's me. So we lied in order to skip the line at a restaurant. Okay, I like it. I like when we lie. Can we get more of those scenarios? Your mother passed away at the age of 67. She died of AIDS? Oh, my God. Damn! What's she doing getting AIDS? You know what? Let's get a girl into the mix. This person named Eugenia wants to ask me out. Let's start dating her and then mess with her. You are now dating Eugenia Fajardo. Your girlfriend Eugenia asked you to marry her. You have been together for three years. What will you do? I'm just going to accept her proposal. And then when situations come up, then we're going to choose the most evil things. Your fiance Eugenia is demanding you get married. You have been engaged for five years. What will you do? Break up with her, call off the engagement, or plan the wedding. Okay, we're going to plan a wedding, but it's going to be the most dog shit wedding that I can plan. So we got to pick a venue. Family member's house, courthouse, beach, country club, or barn. <laughs> We're gonna get married in a barn and <laughs> We're not gonna have any honeymoon. We're just gonna sit there in silence You have chosen to marry Eugenia Fajardo at a barn and not bother with a honeymoon You're thinking about whether you should make your fiance Eugenia sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying her What will you do? Her net worth is so many times more than mine. We don't need a prenup, baby You married Eugenia Fajardo at a barn <laughs> You are no longer suffering from depression. Okay, that's good. I love that. You are no longer suffering from anxiety. Okay, so we got married and those things kind of just went away. All right, I'll take it. Wait, I have a niece named Gloria Lim. Let me uh, have a conversation with her. 
You and your niece Gloria talked about which instrument is the best, and we didn't even agree on it. Fuck you, girl. You and your niece Gloria got into a heated argument when discussing which instrument is the best. What will you do? Agree to disagree, apologize, insult her, or assault her? I can assault my own niece? Oh, this is so messed up. Okay, we're gonna do it. You assaulted your niece. You walloped her throat. You loosened her clitoris. <gasps> what? Bro! What the fuck? I what? I what her what? Why would I loosen that? I should be arrested. You have been charged with assault and are facing four years in prison. Which local law firm will you hire to defend you in court? Mariano and Chua, Antonio and Associates, Public Defender. Okay, I guess the worst option is public defender. Guilty, you have been convicted of assault and sentenced to four years in prison. Your wife Eugenia wants a divorce. She says she can't be with a man who will be taking it in the bean slot while in prison. <laughs> what will you do? Wish her well, insult her one last time, or beg her to stay. Okay, we'll insult her one last time. Eugenia broke up with you. You called her a hoe bag as she was walking out the door. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you hoe bag! The judge demands that Eugenia Fajardo pay you the amount of 30 Dawa to settle your divorce. Let's go! I told you guys marrying her, I would get this money. I told you guys, that was the most evil thing was marrying her. Collect my money. Oh man, this evil route is turning out way better than I thought. Okay, let's keep aging up. You have been offered morphine in prison. What will you do? Give me the morphine. I say no to drugs. The evil in me says, put it in my system. You are now addicted to morphine. I just tried it one time. You died at the age of 54. You died of natural causes. And my net worth was $31,000. That's actually a lot considering that I didn't even do anything after high school. I didn't get employed. I didn't go to college. I didn't do anything. I was basically an evil bum until I died. So that was actually a pretty good route. I'm going to haunt this game. Omarion Evangelista passed away peacefully at the age of 54. His big sister, Honorata, and his niece, Gloria couldn't be bothered to attend his services. A clever young man, Omarion managed to avoid getting a job his whole life. Friends remember when he cheaped out on a honeymoon. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this one more time, but instead of picking the worst option, every single scenario that comes up, I'm always gonna pick the first option no matter what, and let's see how our life turns out. So now my name is Aisha Bishop. I was born a female in Seattle, United States. Okay. I was the result of a random Bumble hookup. Okay, great. So my parents are two people that didn't even like each other, but they wanted to get freak nasty in the sheets, so they just hit up some random person on Bumble. You are sitting in class and think of something super funny to say in response to the teacher's question. Then she calls on you. What will you do? Rip the joke, answer the question seriously, or say never mind. So we gotta pick rip the joke. And I ripped the joke in front of my class. Okay. You think you're cool? You think you're cool because you ripped the joke? You and your half-sister Arlene are quarreling about who is a faster swimmer. What will you do? Assault her? That's the first option? Come on, man. Okay, I guess we gotta assault her. You assaulted her. You squashed her ovaries. What is up with me, like, doing damage to people's insides and things that I don't want to be touching? A boy from school named Jackie Roosevelt looks almost exactly like your celebrity crush. He's age 15. He's kind of good looking. He's crazy smart, though. He's super crazy, but he's not that popular. I guess we got to ask him out. Aw, you are now going out with Jackie Roosevelt. Great. Let's check our relationship and let's see what the first option is. Have a baby with him? What? I'm the girl, so it's up to me. Let's see if we're gonna have a baby with him. Your boyfriend Jackie does not want to have a baby with you. Thank God, Jackie. Thank you for being a responsible 15-year-old. And now he wants to break up with me. Your boyfriend Jackie wants to break up with you. What will you do? We gotta beg him to stay. You beg Jackie to stay with you. He dumped you anyway. Who freaking who? They never last, do they? High school romances? It's time to take your driving test. Will you take it? Take the test. What does this road sign mean? Look both ways, T intersection, multi-turn ahead. Okay, so we gotta pick the first option. You failed the driving test. <laughs> I know, but I had to choose that. You graduated from high school. Okay, so I gotta choose the first option, which is music. Apply to university. How will you pay for your university program? Apply for a scholarship. Your application for a scholarship to a university was rejected. Okay, now I gotta apply for student loan. You took out a student loan to pay for your university tuition. You are now enrolled in university. And then let's click on our relationships and I gotta ask dad for money. He gave me 102 bucks. What about mama? Ask her for money too. She gave me $8. What about my half sister? Have a conversation with her. You and your half-sister Arlene discuss whether or not Android users deserve to play BitLife. No, they don't. They never do. This guy's name is Debrickshaw Hill. 
A boy you met on your way to the airport has asked you on a date. He's age 17 and he's from high school. He's dog shit ugly, but we gotta start dating him. Are you sure you want to agree to date a 17 year old? The legal age of consent in the United States is 18. Well, I have to. Because that was the first option. You've been charged with dating a minor and are facing one year in prison. You have been found not guilty of dating a minor. Great. I don't know how we didn't get found not guilty, but you know what? I'm not going to question it. You have been diagnosed with depression. Fuck. You graduated from university with an undergraduate degree in music. What will you do now? Take some time off. Seek higher education. Look for a job. Take some time off. While on a trip to the mall, you run into the BitLife devs. They show you a brand new yellow Jeep Cherokee with a ribbon on it and say it's yours if you turn on notifications for BitLife. What will you do? I don't want notifications for BitLife. Oh man, come on. Okay, thank you. And now they would like to send me notifications. Screw you. Dream come true. The BitLife devs gave you a brand new Jeep Cherokee. You know I'm turning this off as soon as I die in this game, right? All right, you know what? I think it's time to find a date. So let's see. Wyatt Wilson. You met a male named Wyatt Wilson. He's age 33. God damn. Okay, we're going to ask him out on a date. He rejected me. Why? Lorenzo Hyman rejected you. He called you an imbecile. Damn, that hurt me right in the feels, baby. Ask you on a date. He called you a bitch? I'm tired of people insulting me. What did I ever do to you? And now I got called a twat. I got called a freaking twat. What else? What are you going to say to me? You just rejected me. You didn't say anything. Okay, you're a nice guy, Seamus. You know what? I'm going to sell the car that I have. Yes. I'm going to sell the car, and now I'm in the positive in my bank balance. Okay. While at a funeral, you encountered a drifter calling you a bozo. What will you do? Assault him, give him some money, argue with him, pretend like I don't see him. We are going to slap him right in his silly little face. You assaulted a drifter who was calling you a bozo. You popped his testicle. What? That's what I'm talking about, Aisha. You have been charged with assault and are facing one year in prison. Oh, come on, bro. You have been found guilty. Your father is verbally abusing you for not having a job. He asks, why can't you be more like your sister who had no problem getting a job? What will you do? Well, we gotta browse available jobs. First option is senior psychiatrist, but I know I'm not gonna get that, right? Yep, rejected. What about you? Rejected. I stay getting rejected. It's like high school all over again. I can't get a job anywhere. Nobody wants me. Wait, I got a job at Apollo Broadcasting Service. That was the first job that hired me. Look at all these guys. I kept getting rejected all day, every day, but now I'm working for Apollo Broadcasting Service. Hooray. You are pregnant. What will you do? Keep the baby or get an abortion. Thank God that the first choice is keep the baby. You just had a baby daughter. What will you name her? Well, her name is already Emma, so we're just going to select that name. You are the proud mother of a baby girl named Emma Hall. She's kind of smart, but she's not that cute, but she's not that ugly either. Thank goodness. Your mother passed away at the age of 78. Not thank goodness. She had a fatal heart attack. We're going to attend her funeral, and I paid my respects at her funeral. Okay, what about my dad? Let's ask him for money. He gave me 2375 What the hell do you do for work, Dad? Are you in the mafia? How do you have all this money? Your fuckboy boyfriend, Ronald, asked you to marry him. You have been together for six years. What will you do? Our relationship is pretty strong. He has no money. He's dirt broke. He's piss and shit broke. I can't believe that I went out with this broke joke. We're going to accept his proposal, though. And you are now engaged to your boyfriend, Ronald. So I'm making way more money than him. I'm making six figs. And this dude is just making a big fat zero. And I'm marrying this guy. On your way to 7-Eleven, you encounter a gigolo trying to solicit you. What will you do? Assault him, solicit him, argue with him, ignore him. We're going to assault him, rightfully so. You attacked a gigolo who was trying to solicit at you but he dodged you how did he dodge me i got hands baby i should have knocked him out the park your best friend abby confessed to you that she eats laundry detergent packets what will you do unfriend her report her offer her your support <laughs> it's funny that we can report her but we have to unfriend her you told abby you can't hang out with her anymore she called you slutty bitch, bitch you're a slut you're the biggest slut that i know abby i'm glad that i'm not your friend anymore your fiance ronald is demanding you get married you have been engaged for six years God damn. what will you do okay we gotta plan the wedding so we gotta choose the first option the vineyard in santiago oh no the first option is no honeymoon okay so we're gonna get married in the vineyard and we're gonna have no honeymoon it's gonna cost us sixteen thousand dollars do it you're thinking about whether you should make your fiance ronald sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying him what will you do our net worth is 177 thousand, and his is in the red <gasps> oh my god we are making him sign that so fast your fiance ronald refused to sign a prenuptial agreement okay bye 
See you later, baby. Your fiance Ronald is arguing with you because you tried to make him sign a prenup. What will you do? Apologize to him, I guess. I honestly forgot that I had a daughter, guys. Let me talk to her. Abandon her. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna abandon my own daughter. No. <laughs> So we can abandon her, put her up for adoption, spend time with her, have a conversation with her. The first option is abandon her. Oh my god, Emma, I'm so sorry. Yes, we're gonna abandon her. You abandon your daughter, Emma. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a fuck you wucky right there. You are suffering from the common cold. What am I, a pussy? While walking downtown, you meet a guy named Bob Hernandez. He's a photographer at Seattle Times. All his stuff is green, so we're gonna ask him out on a date. You are now dating Bob Hernandez. That's what I'm talking about. We're dating Big Bob. Big old Bob. 59 years and 60 years. My half-sister Arlene retired. Nothing's happening at 61. 62. And 63, I've been with Bob for five years. So nothing's really going on right now. Your boyfriend Bob asked you to marry him. You have been together for seven years. What will you do? Accept his proposal. You are now engaged to your boyfriend Bob. Okay, let's try to marry Bob. Let's see if we can uh, tie the knot. Okay, now Bob's trying to get married. So we got to plan the wedding. And we are going to get married in a restaurant and no honeymoon. It's going to cost me 5400 And now we got to do the prenup stuff. Look at my net worth, guys, and look at his net worth. Of course, we're going to make him sign a prenup. Your fiancé, Bob, refused to sign a prenuptial agreement. He called off the engagement. Well, screw you, Bob. I didn't really need you. Your half-sister, Arlene, passed away at the age of 77. She died of diabetes. Okay, let's attend her funeral, and let's age up a little bit more. You died at the age of 73. You died of complications from old age. I died with a shitload of money, though, so we got to rest in peace. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Bit Life. We lived a life where we chose the most evil option, and then we lived a life where we chose the first option. I feel like the one where we chose the first option was like a good playthrough, so it was like a good and evil playthrough. I also want you guys to do me a favor in the comments down below. Let me know some challenges that you guys want me to do for this game, because you guys are really loving this series, and I am too. Like, I want to try out more things, but you guys got to give me some good challenges and i would choose the most creative and unique one but if you guys enjoyed this episode of bit life make sure you guys give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is dead dude